Whole foods versus processed foods, the good and the bad. All right, let's start with whole foods. So what are whole foods? Apples, meat, basically anything that's not sitting in a bag or a box. So the goods about it is that it's nutrient dense. Whole foods are generally higher in nutrients, such as vitamins, minerals, fiber, and antioxidants, which are essential for good health. They also promote satiety, meaning that the whole foods tend to be more filling and satisfying than processed foods, helping you feel fuller for longer periods of time. It's better for your gut health. Whole foods contain prebiotics and fiber, which promote the growth of good bacteria in the gut, aiding in digestion and reducing inflammation. Now here's the bads, is that whole foods are perishable, meaning fruits and vegetables, they have a shorter shelf life and require proper storage and handling to prevent spoilage. There's time that's involved with preparation. Cooking and preparing whole foods may require more time and effort than processed foods, which are often prepackaged and ready to eat. Now when it comes to processed foods, the goods are super convenient. Processed foods are often prepackaged and require little to no time, making them quick and easy as a meal option. Processed foods also have a longer shelf life. Processed foods often have preservatives that help prolong the shelf life and help you to reduce food waste. And processed foods can be fortified, meaning some processed foods such as cereal and breads may be fortified with additional nutrients like vitamins, minerals, and fiber. Now the bads, well, the nutrients that are in them are often added, so they're not natural, but processed foods are often stripped of their natural nutrients during the processing and may contain added sugars, unhealthy fats, and artificial additives. They also may increase the risk of chronic disease. Processed foods have been linked to an increased risk of chronic disease such as obesity, type 2 diabetes, heart disease, this is usually due to the higher calorie, sugar, and fat content. And the last of the bads is that we know these processed foods are addictive. So processed foods are often high in sugar and fat and salt, which can trigger the reward centers in the brain and ultimately leading to cravings and overeating. Overall, it's important to prioritize whole nutrient-dense foods, make them the foundation of your diet while minimizing the intake of processed foods. I understand that you get busy and oftentimes you have to get what you get, but try and create balance by adding some whole foods into your daily diet.